going on guys? Selves Leader Carson here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. So let's get the show back in the road. Now, I'm going- oh! That was my bad. Let's start the conversation up again. So, just to show you folks, let's just play this out again. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Private Entitled college students bullshit. taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell Just students? let it play out, folks. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. He is right in that. He does- he, his suspicions are true. And they are in the right. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So She's right on that. On everybody. She is like right Like he on spies that. on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna choose the side with Chloe, because I first chose the side with David, then we'll make our final decision. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Whoa. Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. Ooh. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Ouch. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Let me just Max, see. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Ooh. All right, so let's now choose our arguments. And let's all, let's now, well, me. Let me now choose my arguments for both pro and con for both sides. Because, all right. We already, already heard the conversation, so let's get to the point. You know for sure it was Blackwell students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Leave Max. Okay, so here's what happened, folks. Here's the pro siding with David. Not only do we not tear his family apart, that's a pro, we don't tear his pro family apart, but we at least understand this, that we know Chloe is just antagonizing David. We get that her arguments and just, and her, like her arguments and her excuses towards like attacking David are justifiable because he is kind of paranoid and he is spying on everyone, but it doesn't work when you keep attacking them and attacking them and trying to antagonize them. It just, your argument lose faith, like loses taste then. So I, so I can't really side with Chloe on that. So that, but the con is we let the secret that David has or what he knows is remains hidden from Joyce, which I personally don't want her to get involved. So I'm leaning towards the David argument. So let's choose the let's lean towards the Chloe argument now. Let's give her the pros and cons. 
The pros are, we are revealing the light of what David is doing. Like, he's spying on everybody, he's spying on, on us, he's spying on whoever he can, and is interrogating and bullying whoever he can, because there's a good chance he's working with Nathan Prescott. But the con is, we're tearing this family apart, and it just doesn't seem right in this kind of scenario. If David was caught, like, if David's acts were caught by Joyce, then it is on David himself for what he did. So in the right decision, because Chloe keeps antagonizing David, I have to side with him for the moment. Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. Yes. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything! There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work, and sit down, and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? <laughs> Oh my god. So, I, I think this is the right thing to do. I personally feel like it. He's already been through enough, and he just wants to just relax for a day. Everybody deserves some relaxation. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. I think I did the right decision to help him. He deserves a little break. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Because you're you really just antagonizing him. We get that you want to do bad, you want to get back at him and you don't like him, but you can't let your f personal feelings tie into why he needs why you know he's a bad person. Because then your argument loses taste towards it. Listen. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Ooh, very true. We should find out what Let's he... check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and... Knock out his dog. Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <laughs> now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Flyers? Hmm. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. And another dead per- What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. I think this is the end of the world, folks. Literally. What is going on here? Animals are dying now. Like, first snow, then... Yeah, first snow, then... What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. More nasty shit. Okay. Okay, I think this is currently, at this point, at the end, the end of the world. Because there's been snow... There's been visions of tornadoes, there's this, the sun eclipse, and now there's dying animals. This is very biblical right now. I'm not gonna get into that topic either. What's this? Okay, let me read this. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten 
gotten in touch with you sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Dip Pop. It's been a while. It's been a wild win here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk to you later. Max X X O X Max O X O. Max hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Love forever and ever. Friendship will always win. Maxie. Okay, let's go. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Well, let's try to rewind the conversation, see if we can brighten up his mood. Good morning. Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Mm -hmm. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Wow. So everything is dying here. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Food counter. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Oh, God, come on. Oh, my God. Now I'm in love with you forever, Max. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Well, nerds are awesome, so don't judge the nerds, because nerds love forever. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Let's speak to him first. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Ooh. Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Ow! Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. Nice. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Kate Marsh, let's ask about her. I okay, guess I'm Kate curious. Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Uh, Nathan Prescott. 
I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not yep. far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Ooh, maybe we can learn something. What can I do for you, man? First weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. The Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do? Up, oh, nothing. Nothing. Let's just go. All right, time to get vengeance on Nathan. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father. Actually, Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Well, seeing Calm that- Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Ooh. <sighs> Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. First off, um, I wouldn't mind having him as an enemy because he's- The world's already coming to an end as it is, but you know, the sun eclipse, the animals dying or migrating or leaving the place, and that there's a climate change of snow and a possible tornado coming, you know, I wouldn't mind. Holy shit, what do you want now? Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Ouch. Holy sh- Ah, shut up. Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Wow. Hmm. Holy. Um, well, for starters, let's do I that. Nice. I. Like you. <sighs> Holy. Drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. By the way, I'm just gonna harass him with this. I just want to. Hold I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Huh. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your piles shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. 
Wow, what an asshole. He really is an asshole. First, let's make it look like we're making a deal with him. I like I like you. Hope you look. Like How do you think? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper. Oh. All right, now blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. Well, we might be so, learning something, folks. Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Oh. Alright, that's all we're gonna get then. What? Yeah. So? What can I do for you? Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Wow. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. Very true. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? All right, now we can attack him. But that doesn't explain the recent extreme Let's watch this, folks. Well, I'm... No, but we have hmm. to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the okay. unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? Okay. I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what happened. Oh, sorry. Well, in any case, folks. Crazy weather. Well, in any case, folks, I have to cut the video off because I'm running out of time. So, we're learning more about this. I would like to comment as much as I would, but if I comment, I feel like I'm hogging up the time to me to actually talk and the, the, the characters talk. So, I always wait for that gap. And besides, there's something odd going on. What's this about blood oves? Rachel and Frank hanging out? And the press gods thinking they want to make me an enemy and they want to murder me and everything. So that's just me, I guess. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. To the next. And as always, stay you, stay cool, and stay awesome. Bye-bye!